Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be breaking in our combination of an offset smoker and a gas grill. So, stick with us and we'll be right back and show you how we did it. All right, guys, we've had this uh, Oklahoma Joe's combo for about a week now. It's it's the Longhorn combo. It's an offset smoker on the left and a gas grill on the right. But uh, you're going to break them in the same, whether it's an offset smoker or a grill. You do it almost like a cast iron pot. We're going to use low heat and vegetable oil. And uh, it's going to take just a, just a little while, and we're going to play around with the temperatures. But uh, you'll see what all we're getting into when as we get into this footage. So... I'll quit John here and let's just take a look. All right, guys, the time has come to break in the new barbecue. We got an offset smoker over there on the left. It has a gas grill here on the right, and we need to season it in. This will be his first time firing it up, and we'll show you guys how you do that. We'll jump right into it. Hang on. All right, guys, what you're going to see is the process of seasoning this in is a whole lot like seasoning in a cast iron pan. But what we're gonna do is heat it up, we're gonna burn off all the chemicals on the inside, and uh, we're gonna get a light coat of oil on it. We're gonna cook that oil up to temperature. That's gonna create a kind of shellac almost, and uh, that'll coat the inside of the grill and it'll keep us from having a metallic taste that a new grill sometimes has. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing opened up and we're gonna pull all the racks and everything out of it and the first thing we're going to do is just give it a good cleaning okay guys this probably won't be real easy to see on camera but down in the bottom of there there's a whole bunch of packing grease and dust and you can see there's some oil streaking on there from the machine oil it looks like machine oil the real thick machine oil they put on there it's also got some of those styrofoam bobbles stuck on the inside of it but there's a little puddle of oil down there. This side's not too bad. You can see on the end there where they wiped it with a rag to wipe that machine oil up on the sides. But we need to get all that burn out of there and all this stuff cleaned out of here first. So uh, let me go ahead and get this cleaned out and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys. We've got all the grates and stuff laid out of the smoker here. And we've got the smoker pretty well cleaned out. So the next step like seasoning in a cast iron pan. Um, Oklahoma Joe's suggests using pure vegetable oil to coat the inside of the smoker. So we're gonna, got some uh, rags here. We're gonna go ahead and coat everything on the inside of the smoker and uh, we'll coat those racks and stuff too. And I'll bring you back and show you when we've got that done. All right guys, we'll just take a quick shot down through here. Show you we got a good light to medium coat of oil on everything. Got it all cleaned up, but uh, the next step we're going to oil up the racks and stuff and get those put back in here, and we'll jump back here when we've got that done. All right, guys, we got everything put back together. You can probably tell by how shiny the cooking surfaces are that they've been oiled and put back on here. The only one we've left out is the top grill for the offset smoker. And I'll show you why we did that in a minute. We're going to need to build a fire in there, so. Uh, we're about ready to go here. We got it put back together. I'll show you how we'll get that fire going here in just a second. All right, guys. We got some uh, hardwood lump charcoal here. We're going to use that to start our fire. We got some hickory here. We're going to add a little flavor to the seasoning on the grill. And we got our charcoal chimney here. And we're getting ready to load it. And I'll share with you something funny. I brought some, you put some newspaper down the bottom of it. And then add your charcoal and stuff and get it rolling but I uh, brought some newspaper down here and I uh, thought oh well you know I'll just burn the sports page and I went to open it and there's what I got a full double page old glory so we won't be burning that piece of the newspaper I don't think anybody's got a business burning old glory but uh, we got some other newspaper here we'll be just fine we'll burn the the accent section but uh, we'll get this chimney loaded up and uh We'll show you how we get that fire going. All right, guys, we got this charcoal chimney 
Got some loose wadded up newspaper there in the bottom. And then we're going to loose pile in some of this chunk charcoal. I'll try to get you a look at that. But that's just lump hardwood charcoal. We're going to load that up here in the chimney. And then uh, we're going to get that going. We'll probably put the chimney over here on the grill so we don't burn anything up. But uh, it'll take it 10, 15 minutes to get burnt through and get a good light on it. And then we're going to dump it over there in the side of the offset smoker. All right, guys. We got this charcoal griller chimney going on over here. And... Uh, it's heating up now we've got it pretty full but you don't have to fill it that full but uh you can always add more charcoal to your fire later but uh, we got it sitting over here on the grill it's not going to hurt anything it's on the charcoal side of the grill so we're just going to let this go for about 10 or 15 minutes and get those coals rolling and then we're going to dump them down here on the offset cooker side and uh, we'll see if we need to add any more and we'll adjust the dampers and get the heat rolling but we'll do all that when we come back we'll show it all to you but uh that's how you get a that's how you get a charcoal chimney rolling. Alright guys, it's been about 15 minutes. And as you can see, by the reflections in there, we got a good red core going on in the middle of the charcoal chimney. We got some uh, sparks and stuff going on out here at the bottom. That's why you always want to make sure you got this on a flame proof surface. But uh, what we've done over here in the offset is I put down some newspaper so stuff wouldn't fall through the grate real fast. But I built a little nest of extra charcoal. And then we're going to take this grill here. If I can do this one-handed. I mess this up, I'll let you go. But we're going to dump our charcoal off in there. Show you we had a good light on it. But we're going to dump it off in there. And then we're going to get this thing closed up. And uh, we're going to see if we can regulate some temperature. We want to... You got a brand new grill, it's a great time, or a smoker especially great time to see if you can hold temperature so we're going to play with the dampers we're going to play with the chimney damper back there and uh, we're going to also fire up these burners on the gas side and see if we can't hold an even steady pressure or even steady temperature on this side too so we're going to set a goal of a uh, most smoking is done 250 degrees or below so we're going to try to hold it for a while at 250 degrees on both sides we'll let you come back and uh, we'll come back and uh, let you know how we did but uh, let's go ahead and uh, close this up, and uh, we're going to rock and roll here for a little bit. All right, guys, one other quick note while we got this is not only are we going to season in this grill, but we're also going to season it with some hickory. We've gone ahead and put some of that hardwood chunk hickory in here. Now, I didn't soak this in water, and I may wish I had, but uh, either way, this is just the break-in burn. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get some hickory smoke going here. We'll start it up going through the other section of the grill, and uh, we're going to get to setting the temperatures. All right, guys. We've let things warm up here for a little bit, but I uh, wanted to show you. We learned one thing really quick. This is the gas side, and it's at 450 degrees. But we learned pretty quick that uh, with three burners going on the gas side and that side closed, that holding a constant temperature of 250 degrees was going to be impossible. If you can see, the outside two burners are completely off, and the middle one's only on medium, and we're holding right at 450 degrees. So we're just going to use that as our target, and we're going to try to just hold there, and uh, that'll let that side heat up and season. Now we'll move over here to the smoker side. We had the dampers open about a quarter of the way. I'll take you around to the end here. Try not to move too fast, but uh, we had the dampers open about a quarter of the way, and we let it get as warm as it was going to get that way, and as you can see, we are about 325 degrees, and that's too warm. So what we're going to have to do, and try to get up here and show you this, is choke that fire back some. We're going to close this top damper down to a sliver. Okay guys, what I was saying before the camera cut out there is we've choked the top damper down to a sliver and we come around here to the end of the firebox and we've choked that down to a sliver also. But uh, one thing that may be a problem and we'll have to work with it and see, but uh, what we have is a full size offset firebox for a smoker that's probably only two thirds the size of a full size smoker. So we may have just built a little too much fire, but we'll adjust for that in the future. 
But uh, if not, we're going to see right now if we can just get it on, adjust it down so we can use it now. And uh, see if we can hold a te constant temperature with it. So we're going to keep fighting it, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, I wanted to show you that we've shut the gas side off and uh, opened it up so that side could cool down. We've realized we've made a mistake and that having the gas over here heating this side and a firebox on that side, the smoker that we're trying to hold at a low temperature didn't stand much of a chance. So we're going to go ahead. We weren't having any trouble holding that at a certain temperature, about 450, because uh, gas is pretty consistent. So we, uh, we're going to go ahead and shut this side off so that we get a true test of just the firebox and the smoker trying to hold it at temperature without being heated on both sides by a gas grill on this side. So we'll come back to you with temperatures already falling. We're down just over 300, but uh, we're going to let this come on down and then uh, see if we can't hold it there. Okay, guys, we've let this thing equalize out for just a little bit. Wanted to come back and show you. We have the top damper down to a sliver. I have the side damper is completely closed. And we are still at a, just under 300 degrees. So what that tells us is, is there's just too much fire in the firebox. So if we were actually building this up so that we could smoke on this side of the grill, we would need to start with a smaller fire, probably much smaller, and go ahead and build up to that temperature rather than trying to regulate it down to temperature. But since this is a break-in, this isn't hurting anything, we're just going to keep playing with it, and uh, we'll just see where it goes. We're gonna, we've got it down pretty good, and we're, we've got the fire choked out. I may even open the dampers all the way up and let this overheat a little bit and burn through some of that fuel and then shut it back down again and uh, we'll see if we can't get a get down to about 250 degrees by burning up some of that fuel to begin with. But uh, that's probably the problem if we were actually trying to smoke on this side rather than a burn-in was we just started too much of a fire in the firebox. So we're learning as we go and... Uh, the clues are all here if we just know how to sort them out. So we'll be back to you when we figure anything else out. All right, guys. Success. 250. And we've had it there, been holding it there for about 30 minutes. We got the firebox is uh, all the way choked off. We got the chimney choked down about as far as it can get. Let's see if I can get a picture of that without cutting it completely off. But uh, that looks like it's going to be a success. So we'll go ahead and uh, cut this off here, and I'll be right back in a minute to talk with you, and we'll go over some of the thoughts and opinions and things we noticed when we were doing it. All right, I guess we're not done. But uh, what we're doing is waiting on the grill to completely cool off, and uh, we'll just let it finish out, and we'll let it cool completely down. If you can see the... It's taking on a nice, you know, rich dark black coloration. It looks kind of odd in the picture, but it's gotten really nice, a nice black coating on it. But uh, we're going to let it cool all the way down. And uh, before we put the cover back on it and everything, we're going to spray it down with some grill spray. That'll help keep it lubed up and oiled between when we use it. But uh, we'll go ahead and spray the whole inside surface down with it, and then we'll put the cover on it. But... That's pretty much it. I'll be back up and talk to you in a second. All right, guys. That's about going to do it for the video. We had a great time. We learned a few things. We did a few things right. We did a few things wrong. But uh, it's it was fun. I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, if you liked the video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. Your thumbs up and questions and comment tell YouTube to show our videos to more people, which really helps. So we appreciate that a lot. And if you like the content here on the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And down there next to that subscribe button, there's a little bell. If you ring that bell, that'll send you notifications whenever we release new videos. But we love having you guys here at the channel. We hope you'll leave your questions and comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.